other sun, and it comes down to Earth. Not only sun energy, so the tempests are not for equinoxes and sources only, but the energies also, the tempests were star energy. They are bringing down energies of Orion, of Sirius, of Venus, and other stars, Andromeda and Pleiades. They are bringing these energies on it. Today, scientists have found, finally, that the Earth is connected directly to the Sun with like a tube. It has got a tube. And what happens in the, in the Sun affects the Earth. We are seeing the solar flares. So we know when something happens in the Sun, it's going to change what is happening on Earth. The, the Sun is sending us special proton photon. photon, but it's not photon, but it's not proton, it's not photon. The scientists don't know what it is. It's a new photon that is changing the surface of the Earth. Once the surface of the Earth changes, we change with the Earth. Once the air changes, we change. Once we start changing, the air changes. So there is an interrelation between us two. But the scientists call this tube, like with the sun, it's called the flux transfer event. And scientifically, they actually found it. They said. So what, what we were saying now is being proven. There is a connection directly to the sun through this tube. As when we do yoga or chakras or whatever, you connect to the center and you put the tube around your being and connect to the core of the earth. That's activate both the sun, solar star, and also the earth, and your chakra. Any questions? These are concepts that can be new. Others know about them, so I'm saying something new to, us, to some, to others, they are not new. So, these star beings from Atlantis, they build structures that could be conduits to transmute chi, so that it's like we have got electricity. You have got a transmitter that transmits this, this huge energy into light, so we can have light or heat, or whatever. So transmute chi, the invisible life force, into physicality. How did they do that? They used four things. They used form, stone, position, and water. Form, we have seen, the, the, you can see the form of the temples. Oh, the temples were built as the shape of the goddess because she was big and that. Uh, no. That's our interpretation, and it doesn't go with what it's supposed to be. Four. The second one they use. <laughs> we can do a, a, a competition of sound of different tunes. And the thing is that you cannot find it where it is. Why did I put it? You know, I Part of the game. Prize it. <laughs> Uh, Shall we put them all on and see which one is the best, the best tune? <laughs> the best tune. Okay. So they used form. So you have got a form of the tempest. And basic form it is H2O. The tempests are two H's and one O. You have got the arches and the, the basic form. They use stone. Stone, limestone is crystalline. It has got a lot of water and it's crystal. And the crystal has got the diamond shape and it attracts. So limestone, what does it do? Limestone attracts, holds, transmute, and transmit. So, people that live in houses of stone are living in a, a life structure. People that are living in steel and concrete 
is that structure. And we have got a heritage that built a visitor center. They didn't see that there is a hypodu that there is hydra in stone alive, and they built steel and concrete structure for visitor center. It's dead. There is no life in that thing. Hopefully, there will come somebody that dismantles it and builds something better. So they use stone position. Every site is placed on a ley line and on a grid. Exactly position. They weren't Sicilian farmers, I tell you. And they used water. Water is a conduit. It transmits. It passes energies. Communication. Okay? All uh, under our tempers, there is a water element, canals that are passing from one temple to the next. By building the way that we are building, we are destroying the system as it is. We are going down too much. And the whole system is changing. Is, is water like fuel to the whole process? Yes. Water kept, it's like you, our blood, keeps us alive. So the water is a conduit that keeps alive all the energies. We have if the temp if the water passing through the temples would stop somehow. Would that affect the temples? Yes, it's our, our role is to do something about it. We'll, we'll talk. Okay? On a, on a small island, how many sites, how many prehistoric sites do you think we have on, on Malta? 28, and there was 36. <laughs> at least that we know of that we know of that there are about 55 prehistoric sites so what we talk about the hypogeum, the hypergeum those are all these small ones some of the, some of the sites have been have, have are underwater some of the sites have been destroyed, some big sites are under airport, some big sites are under buildings, some big sites are destroyed, some other sites were taken by the knights, what I'm saying, were the stones were taken by, by the knights to build the bastions. So many, many of the sites were destroyed. Fortunately, we have got Hajar Imam, Nidra, Hypogeum, Tarshin, Skorba, whatever, and Jantia still standing. But there are <coughs> 52 prehistoric sites that we know of. It might be that there is more. Mm -hmm. It might be that there is more. Uh -huh. Are there no temples on their churches, like Catholic churches? Where? Are there Most no down, temples probably. on their Catholic churches? Oh, yes. You, you, you can see that there is a mosta, though, white, there is cittadella, there is shaukiya. What is the, what is the common denominator? You have got shaukiya, imjar, and mosta. And they are domes. They are domes. And for some reason, the architect that planned these churches had had to do it dome shape, not the Roman cross. So Vimjar is built on a temple site, Mosta is built on a huge, as a center point, on a temple site. Mosta means, not Arabic, but Atlantic means Mistur, hidden, and Shaukiya, built on a temple site, and other sites. But these main bu buildings, somehow the churches had to be domes. Pagan or temple <coughs> energy, round. And in, in the temples, there is no sharp corners. Everything is feng shui. So the heritage didn't realize when they built the visitor centers that they should do something feng shui. Everything is sharp and steep. <coughs> it's awful. So these are, these are the sites in Malta, and as they are bringing energy, energy has got two points, positive and negative, <coughs> yin and yang, masculine and negative, 
It's like any piece of wire. You put it in a plug, and it gives you light. But it has to be positive and negative. The plug has to come go into the socket. The socket gives you energy. <coughs> and they had the yin and yang cittadella. Cittadella is also built on a temple site, on a Phoenician site, on a Greek site, <coughs> and uh, the Queen of Atlantis site. Cittadella, it was the the yin, electron, <coughs> and Mosta was the yang. These two energy points activated the whole landmass of Malta with these energy points. This is more more interesting than the hypogeum being a barrier place and the Tarshian is uh, they did sacrifices. <coughs> these are temples that are alive with a lot of energy that's going on. And each temple site had a particular purpose in all this story. Beautiful. More beautiful than what we know. Okay, uh, any problem here? Sort of there is energy points that are important is Mostado. Comino is one of the most powerful energy sites <coughs> on Malta. Fortunately, Comino is left as it is. Because Com Comino, we made a mess of the energies of Malta because of the way that we are building, the way that we are abusing nature and the environment around us. Fortunately, Gozo uh, still at least saving and Comino saved from anything. So it's a be beautiful PowerPoint. One day we'll, <coughs> we'll explain Comino energy as it is, the 13th code. You've got Cittadella. The Cittadella was the seat of the Queen of Atlantis and the center of administration. And you have got Tachench. Tachench is the most, also one of the most powerful energy sites on the islands. Fortunately, we went to fight the building of hotels and golf courses and everything because that energy site has to be saved for future. And the other energy point, uh, there is two, one out there and one down here. In the next talk, I will, dis I will describe one up there and one down here. Because these are important sites, especially this site here. Okay, the electronic, the electronic, mind, I said that the temples, each temple was built on a highway of energies. The, the uh, electromagnetic ley lines of Malta, or the Feng Shui, uh, it goes everywhere. And if you think about it, I said the positive and the negative energies of Malta and Gozo, yin and yang. And whoever did this, he felt that the Gozo ley lines should be painted in blue and the ley lines of Malta should be painted in red. He didn't realize that these two energies are positive and negative, but he felt that he should do it that way. And then I explained to him why they are different colors. Because different. Comino is totally different energies. We haven't done it yet, but we will do it. Besides ley lines, each temple site is built on a grid. Where the energies connect, they built a temple site. These were magnificent farmers that could understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, with, uh, with the knowledge of our astrology, astronomy, um, and ley lines and energy points, God, that's why they had big cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, the Gozo was the yin, the minus, and Malta was the plus. And, so. and each temple, where you have got two or three, generally, each site had three temples. Some sites have got two. Some sites have roofs, and sometimes some sites didn't have roofs. But each site had generally two to three. The first one was positive, the second one was negative, because you're talking about energy. 
So you have to have these two 